up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm Lori if you're new here. So today I'm doing an unboxing. I haven't ordered anything for a while, which is probably a good thing. So I actually ordered something from Lush. And if you're aware of Lush, basically it's a cosmetic and beauty um, bath care type of company and it's mostly vegan, not all vegan. So I guess a lot of their ingredients do have honey or a lot of their products have in uh, honey as the ingredient. So that's the one thing that doesn't make it vegan, but uh, last time I was in the store, they actually assured me that they are actually trying to get more and more vegan items. So I guess they're trying to phase out or maybe replace the honey with another ingredient. So I got this idea from another channel, which is Amy Helena. She's a YouTuber and she's in the UK. So she posts all kinds of awesome videos, like thrift, thrift hauls and uh, some cooking videos, weight loss, all kinds of stuff. And she has a really cute dog. But anyway, so she ordered some stuff from Lush the other day and I'm like, oh my God, I need to order some of these things. Because they're also very sustainable, right? A lot of them don't have packaging. So if you think about shampoo bars, uh, like actual soaps, not like, like, you know, the old school bar soaps, not in an actual package. So it's a lot better for the environment because there's less packaging. So after seeing her video, I'm like, okay, I need to order some. So, so this is my little order, not very big, but um, I think this was about $75. Okay, so it does say on the box actually, I just see this here, it says 100% um, vegetarian. So I guess vegetarian because there is honey in them. So yeah, it's pretty good. So they're almost there. So I actually ordered this um, like two or three weeks ago and it's been sitting in my office for the past week waiting for me to do this video. I didn't want to open it. And every time I walk in the room, all I smell is like, like a spa really because I, I don't remember all the things I ordered but it just I know it's like really awesome stuff anyways I'm gonna just get my paper out to see what I ordered here okay guys so these little things that is being shipped in which is normally styrofoam which you know is not very sustainable and environmentally friendly however these are actually made with potato starch so these are actually biodegradable in water so that's crazy so all these things this is see there is a better option guys if you're a small business owner or a big business owner or just a person trying to live this world you know it's like you have two options you can go the option that is not great for the environment or you can choose an option that is better for the environment so why not just make the option so they've obviously taken a little bit of care to find a product that is better for the environment and that's what they're using so and it comes with this nice little paper too so it shows you exactly what you ordered and here's a little write-up on the popcorn uh, called plastic free peanuts <laughs> so this is the first one here it's ocean salt it's a face and body scrub so right now I actually try to use everything natural so I do actually use white sugar on my face as a scrub and I use uh, apple cider vinegar as a toner I use coconut oil as a moisturizer so pretty much I have these little containers all around the house and it's just coconut oil I just fill it in and I use that not for my hands I find it's not uh, thick enough cream for my hands so I actually do have hand cream but for my face and like body anything I need it for like it's just super easy so and it's edible so you know it's good there's no crap in it right and a lot of these products too there's no crap in it so that's good so yeah this actually I got because I really wanted to try it and also it's a body scrub so I don't really use a body scrub but I feel like I should especially around summertime you know when you're like we go camping and like you're tanning not on purpose but like you happen to get a tan and it's like they just you know it's good to be able to scrub off the old cells and then get new cells rejuvenated and grown in so anyway so I'm going to be leaving this in the shower so actually I just want to open it and see oh oh my gosh look at the color of that oh yeah that, that smells really good it smells like the ocean hence why it's called ocean salt you know I got some Halloween stuff and I see a, uh, see something orange oh how cute is this okay unfortunately this is actually wrapped in plastic so I don't know um, so yeah I guess it, if you have another better option then great but maybe because this they just don't want it to disintegrate all over the box so I guess that's pretty much the only way is to put it in plastic so anyways but this is a bath bomb so it's so cute it's actually pretty thick too so I don't know if you've ever had a bath bomb from Lush. Oh, it is seriously the best. It's like the most luxurious, foamy, bubbly bath. You just like usually this big ball, which I think I did order some in here. So you just put it in the bath and it just instantly sizzles and it, ma and it makes your skin so soft, like crazy soft. So yeah, I thought this would be cute for Halloween. Okay, I see something wrapped in, um, I see something wrapped in paper. So this, oh, so it is a bath. So that's what they should have done, maybe because it's like a specialty item. I don't know. Oh, 
I think it's, uh, what does that smell? Lavender? Oh, it's black. I don't even remember what I ordered. So this is a bath bomb. I think it's a uh, charcoal, actually. And it's already making my fingers <laughs> dirty. That's probably why it's in here, too. Oh, they're also fighting against animal testing. So that's the other good thing about the company. It says here, animal testing is cruel, outdated, and inhumane. We only test our products on willing human volunteers. Ethical buying, handmade, and naked. Well, yeah, they say naked, but some of the stuff is in plastic. So I'm not sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just for me touching it. Ah! Better not touch my face. Okay, so I have a little write up here on the black one that I got. It's called a Black Ninja Bath Bomb. When I ordered these, uh, not everything is vegan, as I mentioned, because of the honey, but you can actually select, I only want vegan items, and you can select it, so they'll only show you vegan items. So it's not like, you know, you go crazy, you buy something, and like, oh, I didn't know it had honey, so this way you can decide what you wanna buy, so. Okay, so what did I order? Oh, it's a solid shampoo. Okay, so this, another thing in plastic, so that's weird. <laughs> So it's a shampoo bar. I've never actually tried one of these. Honestly, I've been kind of scared. Um, I have purchased like the healthier shampoo, I guess we'll call it, which is like cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, you know, just less ingredients. But I find it doesn't always foam up as much. So that's the one thing I really hope it foams up because it's like, I know it's like a mental thing. You don't really need the foam to be clean, but you feel cleaner, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm gonna try this. This one actually smells good. Well, so did the other one, but this one smells something familiar. But I, I can't think of it. Anyway, so I'm gonna try this one. Um, and it does actually say signanimaltesting.org. So it's giving you uh, a website on here. Yeah, to sign end animal testing. Hmm. Okay, this, look at this bar. So I'm trying to get away from the packaging, like I said, so I wanted to get more hand bars just so I'm not wasting all these plastic in the recycling bin. And this is like heavenly. <laughs> this looks so good. Outback Mate. Oh, holy crap, this smells so good. Oh, this is like mint and there's eucalyptus in here. That's what I smell. But look at the pattern, wow. So it's actually a decent size bar, see, like it's, like a big bar. Oh, this is, I think I'll be using this one first. Oh, it smells so good. I love anything eucalyptus. Okay, so I think this is another shampoo bar <laughs> called Dirty. So I might do a review on these just so I can let people know like what to expect and what it is. Like I said, because I was a little bit skeptical. I'm still kind of a little bit skeptical, but I feel like if I didn't take the plunge and actually buy some, I'm never going to buy it. I'm never going to use it, right? So you just got to go and buy it and try it. And I just like, just like food is like, you know, or vegan cheese is a good one. You know, you, you you buy one, maybe you don't like one. That doesn't mean that's the only one. There's like thousands or maybe hundreds of different kinds, right? So you gotta try one and then once you try one, you find one, you might find one that you like. So this one's in the, the um, paper bag. Bath, no, it's called Bat Art Bath. <laughs> I think I might've seen Amy order this too. Oh yeah, look at this. It's got sparkles in it. This is a bath bomb. Yeah, so this is one that you could just throw it in the bath and it'll just suds up and just make your skin super soft and make your bath probably all black from this and sparkly. So let me know in the comments below if you have tried Lush before and what your favorite product is and maybe I'll try that next time. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Take care, bye.